हाउस ऑफ वेलनेस के एक नए एपिसोड में आप सबका स्वागत है आज हम एक कॉमन प्रॉब्लम जो सीनियर्स को होता है जो फिजिकल प्रॉब्लम होता है स्वॉलोइंग का उसे हम ब्रेन जिम से कैसे डील कर सकते हैं उस बारे में सीखेंगे सो so, आज हमारे साथ है लीसा मार्कोविची जो ईयर 2000 से एक्टिवली इन्वॉल्व है पेरेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स थेरापिस्ट और टीचर्स को इनकरेज करके हाँ मूवमेंट इनकरेजमेंट करने के लिए और ये हमारे लिए ऑल द वे फ्रॉम मॉन्ट्रियल कैनेडा से आए हैं शी इज फैकल्टी फॉर ब्रेन जिम इंटरनेशनल क्रिएटर ऑफ कुकिंग अप फ्रॉम हेड टू टो ब्रेन जिम का एक कोर्स uh, है और डायरेक्टर uh, है वो रिकनेक्शन के uh, जहाँ से वो uh, सारे ये कोर्सेज लेते हैं वेलकम लीसा Thank you so much for being with us today. Welcome. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank Welcome. you, Sonam. It's lovely to see you. Same here, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, very often we keep on hearing that seniors are having lot of difficulties while uh, eating and swallowing and gulping, which affects their nutritional status. So, what are the uh, you know the movements in brain gym that can ease this out for them? Mm -hmm. That's a really good question, and and one that does come up often, um, and it's not just for seniors. Again, this this can affect children and people of all ages. But um, very often, when we come into survival mode, when we get stressed, the response is to stop swallowing because you're busy running or fighting, so you don't need to swallow. You don't want to swallow. The digestive system actually shuts down. So in brain gym, one of the first things we do. is calm the nervous system is to release the stress release the tension and as soon as we can do that and we can find our breath again usually the muscles in the throat relax and we have the ability to swallow again so um if you're interested maybe we can play with a little experiment um to do a few brain gym exercises and see how it affects our ability to coordinate our swallowing does that sound like a good idea excellent idea <laughs> Do you happen to have some water or something to drink nearby that we can yes. play yes. with? Okay. Yes. So perfect. So even before you take a sip of water, I would just like you to pause for a moment and notice just swallowing your own saliva if that is something that requires effort or if you can do that easily. Just notice that. And then maybe even just pay a little bit of attention to your breath without adjusting anything, without changing anything. Just just notice if your breath is is deep and slow or maybe it's more shallow in the upper part of your chest just give your breath a little bit of attention without any judgment or modification and maybe we'll turn the head gently from right to left because again when we have tension in the neck and those little neck muscles it will affect the ability of the tongue to move and swallow yeah and now let's go ahead and and have a few sips of water and see how as we breathe and drink how easily we can coordinate that notice if you have to hold your breath to drink or if you could keep breathing and drink yeah yeah i have to be so conscious about breathing and swallowing together surprising eh surprising Yeah. Um okay. So, uh the first exercise I would propose is going to be the owl, which is a, an exercise that helps to relax the shoulder and the and the upper trapezius muscles. So, we're going to take the right hand and bring it on top of the left shoulder. And you can reach as far as you can. I like to use my fingers to kind of hook in there, but if you can't reach that, you can just put a bit of pressure on that shoulder, just kind of squeezing it. it the other arm can be relaxed and then very gently we'll turn the head to one side as far as it can go and breathe in here and as we exhale we're gently going to turn the head towards the other side making the oo sound with our lips oo like the owl and then when we get to the other side we'll inhale once more So the shape of the mouth is going to allow your head to turn much further. This comes to an early childhood reflex. But maybe we'll go back one more time. 
And then to finish, we'll just gently let the forehead come down to the front as we exhale. And then relax that hand and just notice already a little bit of a difference between your two shoulders. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the other hand. So now the left hand on the right shoulder. Again, if you can, to grab on a little bit. If you can't, just put a little bit of weight there as best as you can. Inhaling here. And then exhaling to the other side. That's it. Inhaling here. You can feel the muscle move under your hand. And then we'll finish by dropping the head straight down. And then again, notice a little bit what's happening with the shoulders. And to continue that, that feeling of relaxation, what we'll do is begin to do the thinking cap. So we're grabbing the top of the ear with the index and thumb and very gently tugging the ear up, we're gonna unroll the edge of the earlobe, working our way down. When we get to the bottom, we'll gently tug down, then let go of everything and begin again at the top. So pulling gently up as we unroll the ear. It, you can see my ear is getting a little bit pink. So the ear is going to warm up a little bit. It'll probably soften a little bit, which is a good indication things are relaxing. In, in traditional Chinese medicine, there are hundreds of places to put the needle just in the ear, and we can stimulate relaxation throughout the entire body, also stimulating the auditory centers. Yeah. And then we're going to continue with the jaw, which is a big uh, temporal mandibular joint that tightens just to protect us when we go into survival. So if you use your fingertips and open and close your mouth, you will find where it moves. People usually think it's closer to the cheek, but it's actually quite high, just in front of the ear, yeah? So once you've located that joint, we're gently, gently going to massage, especially if it's painful. Just go nice and easy. And as you massage, we're going to pretend to yawn. And if you yawn for real, it's not an insult. It's actually perfect. So, <sighs> Nice and deep breath, opening wide. Oh. And massaging that temporal mandibular joint as we pretend to yawn. Oh. And we can even massage all along the cheek and the jaw, always continuing that yawning motion. Oh. Making nice sounds, it's okay. We're on Zoom, can't hear you. Wow. There you go. And just notice what that feels like. And then let's go back to some of those pre-activities that we did. So, you know, we kind of moved our head from one side to the other. Do you notice any changes there? Does that feel any different? Definitely. Yeah. My head is moving more, much more further now. Yeah, nice. So when those neck muscles are relaxed, it's going to allow the swallowing and the tongue to move much more freely as well. I don't yeah. have to put any then, effort while I'm moving my head from one side to another. Nice. It's just happening naturally. Very good. Very good. And then, you know, we just pretended to swallow something and just notice if that feels any different. Again, natural. It's easy, right? It's automatic. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Good. And so, did we do any other free activity? I don't think. Breathing and swallowing. Yeah. So, we were breathing and swallowing as we were drinking our water. So, let's see how that goes as we take another sip. Yeah. Now what's happening with these? More yeah. organized, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. And even your breath, if you pay attention to your breath for a little moment, does that feel the same as it did before? It's more deeper. More deeper, right? It's a full, nice breath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So when we start to be able to recognize when we're not breathing deeply or when our neck begins to feel tight, those are indicators that we're not relaxed. We are in a stressful state. And then swallowing could be difficult. It's normal. It's not that unusual. So if we take these few minutes as we just did, just to relax those neck muscles, relax the shoulders, come back to a nice deep breath, we can come back to that nice automated relaxed swallowing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Today, we have Lisa Markovic in a very subtle explain kiya simple tarike se ke swallowing ke liye hamare kaun se muscles hai jo involved hote hai aur unke liye kaun se simple exercises karne chahiye brain gym ke jisse swallowing aur breathing mein humko difference pata chalega aur easier ho jayega aur hum swallowing bahut hi easily naturally aur easily kar sakenge so thank you so much, uh, Lisa, for this uh, excellent information that you shared with us regarding swallowing. Swallowing is such an important and uh, such a, uh, you know, uh, when you see so many seniors, especially who have difficulty with swallowing. So this is going to be very, very useful information for our seniors. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. I'm very glad I could share this information. Thank you. And are we doing cheers to wellness? Cheers to wellness. Cheers to wellness.